Welcome back. This is Rox Robin Hart of the Rox Robin Hart channel. Continuing tonight, Halloween specials. Recording as many of these videos as I feel like doing tonight. I've got a spare moment and I'm rolling camera. Here we go. I wanted to talk about fatalistic romance, twin flames, and soulmates. Deep shit. I was having a conversation with somebody recently, thank you for having that conversation with me, about the very concept of which my whole belief structure was built around, and one person was able to just unfold it, shatter it, and really get me to rethink my entire belief system, built around the idea of a soulmate, built around the idea of a twin flame, or built around the idea of... Uh, a fatalistic romance so thank you for that giving me the idea for the topic of this video actually so where do I stand on that well prior to this conversation I was all about finding my soulmate rocks Revenhart does not usually talk about my religious beliefs I do not usually talk about any beliefs I do not usually talk about this even but this is a large driving force behind how I've spent most of my life, especially my adult life, seeking out my, my uh, soulmate. My longest lasting relationship firmly believed that I had found my soulmate. That ended not so well. <laughs> 13 years with this person ain't nothing long time not long enough were they my soulmate we've had conversations about that in the earlier stages we believe so in the later stages we don't know where i stand currently with that i'm still struggling with that but because this was brought up to me and <clears throat> my friend was nice enough to express the dangers of fatalistic romance it made a lot of sense to me. To become so deeply invested in someone that you go as far as to believe they're this built-in soulmate thing and how that can fall apart can be world-shattering. I felt like my soul was shattered when we broke up. My soul. Not just my being, but my soul. That's the whole gimmick I'm built around is Rock's Revan Heart, the Risen Heart, the Spirit of Rocks, this whole channel. Everything I believed in is built around this idea. Like my stories, my music, everything is built around this idea of my spirit in search for my other half. That's what I do. <laughs> I mean, that's where I come from. That's where Rocks is from. In the spirit world, in this world, in your realm, in mine. When I expire, when I hit the grave, I believed that I, my spirit goes on and search again for my soulmate through the realms of time, through the expanse of forever. Those were even in my marriage vows, that beyond this realm, I'll seek you out again in the next. And then it fell apart. <laughs> then it became soul shattering. The fact that I'm still breathing right now is a result of my own fail safes to trigger warning, suicide. Uh, if I didn't have these fail safes in place, I wouldn't be here making this video. At the point of that breakup, it felt like my world had ended. And for good reason. We had a lot in common. We got along well. We could spend forever around each other, usually, without any problem. I'll get to why we broke up in the next coming videos. But we ended because of a problem I had. I fucked up. 
I'll admit to that. Stay tuned in the next videos to find out what I did, <laughs> where I went wrong, where the fatalistic romance had faltered, <laughs> where my twin flame had been snuffed out, and where the soulmates became soul shattered. So, the dangers of fatalistic romance. What that means, at least what I understand what that means, is becoming so obsessed with, with the idea of someone that you don't see the truth to that someone. You don't see the truth to yourself and how you feel about that someone. You've built the fantasy in your mind of an expectation of what this should lead to, where this is going, how long it should last, and stuff like that, instead of paying attention to the moments. The moments from moment to moment are gravely important. And paying attention to that person in that time, setting up this uh, prophetic pathway for a relationship is not, not from my experience, doesn't work out well. <laughs> it, it sets up for failure. It sets up for disappointments when certain milestones aren't being reached. It sets up for a lot of frustration, and it ultimately, now for some people it might, but from my own experience, it didn't, and it, it sucks. <laughs> it's not that much fun to realize your soulmate isn't really your soulmate. It's not that much fun to invest so much into that idea that you've overlooked the importance of that moment you had in time with the person and just building on that dangers of fatalistic romance can lead to jealousy rage certain things when those expectations aren't reached murder uh, homicide or whatever you want to call it, that kind of stuff so it, it can get really ugly so thank you, my friend, who pointed out what fatalistic romance is. And now I have to go back to the drawing board and find out what my whole belief structure is, what this whole channel is about, what this whole gimmick of mine is. Because I built my world around the idea. I'm lost. I'm a lost soul now, trying to figure this shit out. Give me your thoughts and opinions on what you think about this subject matter in the comments below on this video. I would like to know where you stand. Do you believe in a soulmate? Do you believe in fatalistic romance? Do you believe in twin flames? And so on and so forth. And do you believe that it can have a positive outcome? Thank you for watching.